Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Justin Willits. I'm here with the Hillsborough Area Regional Transit Authority. We're out here getting community input on the proposed all for transportation funded improvements to the hard bus network. Uh, we're getting feedback from the community on both our capital projects, our service, and some future visioning work that we're going to be doing. So I'm going to walk you through the improvements we currently have proposed. Um, and we'll start with some of the restored service from some cuts that were done a few years ago based on funding. We wanted to go to the community and take some of the feedback we've already got in the past few years and look at what we could put back for service that they've said that they've wanted. Um, the three main routes that we're looking at putting back are service on McDill and South Tampa with the old Route 4. Uh, the Route 46, which served Ybor City, Palmetto Beach, and Causeway between downtown and the Brandon Mall. Uh, Route 41 on Sly Avenue connecting Net Park over to the Leto High School area. And then putting back service to North 22nd Street, Livingston, and then the North Florida Avenue corridor. Um, those were two highest priorities where services had previously been cut north of Fletcher. So we're proposing to serve that a little bit differently, but we've been really happy with the feedback and seems to be a good strategy. Uh, some of the other improvements that we're looking at are expediting some of our plans to increase frequency. We've seen a lot of improved ridership on the routes that we focused our frequency improvements on in the last few years. Uh, the specific ones we have outlined here are weekday improvements for Route 30, which is on Kennedy Boulevard, Route 32 on MLK, and Route 45 between West Shore and Yukon, and then the Route 42 connecting Yukon and the University area to the University Area Transit Center. Some of those other improvements we're looking at for frequency involve weekend routes. Uh, one of the biggest ones is the 31 in South County is implementing service for Saturday and Sunday. The other routes we're proposing weekend improvements on are the Route 15, which is Columbus Drive, Route 9, which is 15th and 30th Street in East Tampa and the University area, and Route 32 on MLK, and Route 42 and 45, the 45 being the West Shore to Yukon Transfer Center connection, and the 42 again being that Yukon Transfer Center to the University Area Transit Center. And those are really the frequency improvements that we think are going to make people's wait times a lot shorter and kind of speed up people's movement across our network. Uh, we've heard a lot of good feedback so far about those. And then some of the other uh, projects and services that we have planned for the All for Transportation funding are existing services that are currently funded through a variety of sources. Um, and these are the main improvements that have taken place over the last two years which are some frequencies, some frequent service on Route 6, 34, and then those uh, other services in the Temple Terrace area on Route 48, and then some of those uh, limited express and more premium cross-county services, uh, as well as the 46 on State Road 60 in the Brandon and Dover area, and the Route 35 in Town and Country connecting to the airport. And all of these services, again, are already in existence. We're just uh, making up for some funding that isn't quite there from various sources, so we're trying to move those into the All for Transportation uh, program. Some of the uh, capital improvements that we're looking at for the next year, uh, funded by All for Transportation, are our bus shelter enhancements. One of the biggest comments we get is that we need to make our, our bus stops much better. Uh, we want to provide shelter from the sun and the rain, uh, provides seating and provide other amenities that uh, make the user and uh, customer experience a lot better. Um, whether it's digital signage for real-time arrivals uh, to places you could charge your smartphone, we're, we're considering all of these options to make sure that we are uh, just a cutting-edge transit agency providing the most amenities that make the most sense for our customers. Uh, the electric bus pilot is a uh, something we're considering for purchasing 10 electric vehicles to become a more green fleet uh, to kind of move into the 21st century and uh, get some of those uh, not as clean vehicles off the road and provide a better experience both sound wise and uh, user wise across the network. Uh, we're incorporating a lot of those charging elements into our future maintenance facility expansion and needs which is a big undertaking so we want to make sure that this pilot is something that we can accommodate uh, before we do a major expansion to our maintenance facility. Our safety and security enhancements have already begun. 
we currently have HD cameras on all of our fixed route buses and are looking to expand that to the streetcar. The safety measures, we have already uh, put in the order for the driver shields to increase the driver uh, operator safety. Um, so we're really excited about that and there are a lot of additional uh, features that we're looking to roll out onto our vehicles. Uh, those two are already, already underway, but we've got, there's a lot more to come on that front. And lastly, uh, a lot of the planning work that we're currently doing and currently getting ready to do focuses on how we're going to grow our bus network in the short term. So we're looking at a short term service expansion plan and then uh, further down the road we're going to do a long range uh, visioning and service planning effort that talks about not just bus but what future streetcar extensions could look like, what future rail corridors could look like, and what rapid transit bus corridors may look like across the county. So those are really exciting. Currently we are already undergoing a bus rapid transit study from downtown to the university area looking at the Florida Avenue, Nebraska Avenue, and Fowler corridors. Um, so that would be something that we look to get off the ground really soon. Um, and along with that, we're looking to move forward on a CSX study to kind of just take an inventory of what we have, what we can operate on it, and what the status is of the actual tracks, how much work needs to be done to make them usable for passenger rail, and what kind of rail we think we should operate on there if we think we should operate on there. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming up in the next year. And currently we're partnering with the City of Tampa on the Streetcar Extension and Modernization Study. Uh, the extension basically is another 1.7 miles north of the terminus at Whiting Street on the Florida Avenue and Tampa Street corridors, turning around at the Palm Avenue area. Uh, that's really going to harness some development potential within the city, but also make some of the transfer activity that we do right here at the Marion Transit Center uh, a little more seamless and provide better connections to people crossing downtown and just really facilitates more movement within the core and uh, should be something that we can all really get excited about. And again, that's uh, powered by Offer Transportation, and we're working with the city really hard to, to, to get that moving along. Uh, it's moving into the FTA process for funding. That's the Federal Transit Administration. And we're moving into that process this year, and we're really excited to embark on more partnerships with the city and the county and uh, really get things moving for heart. So sorry you couldn't be here today, but hopefully that gives you a good overview, and we'll see you at the next uh, outreach session we have.